So my, my day starts about 5, 5.15. It takes me about an hour and a half to get to work, about two hours to get home in the afternoon. And I, I hear a lot of different things. You know, a lot of people come and their friends tell them that, oh, he's not actually going to be there. He doesn't actually work there. Or they think I'm a paid actor and I come and film and go home. But no, I work 8 to 6, Monday through Friday, all week. No, I'm not the owner. I've had people ask me that. I just work here, sell lift kits, and make YouTube videos and chase the bread. That's that. That's what I do. But I wake up at 5:15, walk all the crazy ass dogs in my house, and uh, get, you know, hit, hit hit the road to, to make it here by about seven. Uh, what 7:30? Yeah. So that's what I did. Left early this morning. Got here. Now I'm here, ready to start the day. Normally I'm, I have this big, huge energy about me, and I'm just kind of. It's here today. <laughs> I'm here. I'm just here. Let's get this bread. Yeah, you can leave it right there. I mean, I've just been at it. Oh, this is cold. Oh, man. So we're starting off the day. We got two nine inch lift kits today. One of the cool things about bringing you guys along is none of this is scripted. I just picked, I just picked a great day to, to film this video. So uh, two nine inch lift kits today. Chauncey's getting a lift kit. We got a 2021 GMC getting a nine inch kit. Two McGoy's kits, same day. Not, not a bad way to start off the week. Oh, that was a bad idea. We got this 2021 coming in, getting a nine inch McGoy's kit, some 26s and 37s. Immediately, you guys know I love the brush guard. I'm excited for this one, getting some amps and some uh, tough wheels. We got Chauncey in here, finally getting his McGoy's kit. No more rough country. Keeping it 375s though. Chauncey's about to be the real of that wide buck guy. That's what's happening here. I'm a little upset. A little soft about it. But it is what it is. Chauncey, I'm super excited for you, bro. Let's get it. Chauncey's getting that, that, that big boy lift kit now. That big boy lift kit. This is your cross member too. This is this this kit has been in stock for a long time. For months. And it was almost destined to happen. It's like destiny, Chauncey. You, you know that's what that is? I sure hope your control arms are the right ones for that kit. I guess we're gonna. I guess we're gonna find out. Things that people don't know. Are they the right control arms? Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> guess we're gonna find out. Something that that y'all wouldn't normally see in a video. That's part of what I'm gonna try and do today. Show you guys some of the behind the scenes stuff. So I got some pieces back from Powder Coat earlier. Uh, Thursday or Friday, something that's coming in this week. Um, I want to show you guys some of those pieces. So we've got a customer we built a truck about a month ago, two months ago. Um, it's a seven inch black McGoy's kit and we're doing the rear traction bars and the upper control arms and he wants the accent pieces to the uh, lift kit to match the truck. He's got a Cardinal Red 2021 GMC elevation and uh, we you know, me and the powder coater, just because that gentleman's from out of town, had to try and make the, the best judgment call. That's something you guys won't see. I had to pick the color, not being able to see the truck. All I had was pictures. So we got the control arms, the rear traction bar pieces come raw, so we had to get those powder coated black to match the uh, the lift kit. So that's why we sent up control arms with them. And then this is one of the pieces from the traction bar to match the control arm red. So hopefully this matches the truck. You guys uh, will see that in another video. That truck's coming later on this week, but part of, Part of my job up here is when stuff comes in like that, we unbox it, we make sure all the pieces are correct. Should I have done this last week immediately when they came in? Yes, but they got dropped off after hours. So I really didn't have a chance to go through all of this. So that's you know what we're gonna do now is go through this box, 
left, make sure all of our pieces are there. Make sure the consistency is correct on the powder coat. Hope, hoping that it is all done correctly. And when I say hope, anybody else that I would use for powder coat, I may have a little bit of a little bit of doubt there. But shout out to Georgia Powder Coating in Gainesville. They do a great job for us. I have all the faith in the world that they're going to send me a good product every time. And they've uh, they've never let us down. So let's uh, see what we're working with. We got the traction bars finished up. They're about halfway done with the lift kit outside. These are not going on that truck outside, disclaimer. These are going on a truck later this week. I probably already said that, but I love the red accent. So you got the, uh, the rear traction bars finished up. And then I have the control arms over here. I know Mr. Torres is gonna be super, super happy to see that. It's a beautiful look. I love it. Got the red on the back too. Absolutely. So it's, you guys never get to see this part of the video. It is 11, 11. It's currently 11, 11 right now. Make a wish. Are you filming me without my consent? Yeah. Ask me real quick. Ask you what? If you can film me. Can I film you? Yes. All right, proceed. Can, with I, can I film you, Johnson? Yeah. So right now, normally this happens, sometimes this might happen at like 10, 10, 10, 30, 11. Sometimes it happens as early as nine o'clock. What's for lunch today? Lunch is a big part of the day up here, if you guys don't know this. Breakfast is huge, gotta have my Chick-fil-A. You know, I actually had somebody in the comments last night. I gotta read this comment, hold on. Somebody commented on the video last night and it completely called me out. Look, somebody said, Alex, what's going on, bro? Chick-fil-A and Bass Pro Shop hats, shaking my head. It's Duncan and let's get this bread hats. Sick video though. <laughs> somebody calling me out for not having my own hats on. Sometimes you gotta switch up the vibes a little bit. Leonard, what's for lunch? I'm hooking up some hamburgers right now. I should bring the grill up here. Brandon would freak out about gorilla? The grill. Probably freak out about a gorilla. The grill. If you did bring a gorilla up here. Gorilla? I was done, You show up to work with on a leash? Gorilla? What do you think? Greasy old salad from Chicken Run? Nope. They get warmer though. Bonzo's? Nope. Chick-fil-A? Nope. Nope. Yep. Tacos? Tacos. It's not Tuesday. It's Monday. We can talk about it. <laughs> we can talk about it. <laughs> what should we have for lunch? Comment below. I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick a comment on here for us to have lunch today. That makes sense, right? A bread sandwich. Bread sandwich? Sounds like the move. So I'm sitting here on hold trying to order some uh, greasy old chicken run. I don't know what I'm gonna get. You ever had a salad that was greasy? I don't say greasy, I like greasy. <laughs> <laughs> greasy. <laughs> so the 2021 AT, or Sierra, sorry, it's not AT4. I've been quoting AT4s on the phone all day. The 2021 GMC Sierra with the brush guard is probably gonna be done today. When we dropped it off, we were gonna do wheel lights. Um, we, after conversation, we're not doing the wheel lights and truck will probably be done today. So that's how quickly things can change. That guy dropped off this morning. You guys saw me pull it into the shop this morning. And uh, as quickly as, you know, before we leave today, that truck will be on the ground and done and he's probably gonna come pick it up tomorrow. So that's how quickly things can change up here. When you guys see us in the videos, say, oh, this truck got done today, it's, it's real. You know, these time frames that we work with. Now this stuff might take a couple days, but something like this, like Chauncey's will probably be done today too. So when, when we say it can be done in the same day, a lot of people think it's fake and, or it's staged or whatever the case is. It's not really the case. We really be doing six trucks. We, we really before. do two or three lift kits a day. It's big lift kits. That's two nine inch kits sitting across from each other. They're probably gonna get done today. Well, yeah, knock them out with two guys. Two guys, knock them out. That damn one o'clock, still ain't ordered food yet. We get caught up. It's hard to order food sometimes. Hey, this is Alex from Southern Tire. Can I place an order for pickup, please? Yeah, what can I get for you? Can I get the uh, chicken Caesar salad with cheese and bacon? With uh, no tomato? All right. And actually, I need two of those. So this is a truck getting built next week, but by how long has this been? Six months. Six, long, six months. long months. Y'all go show some love to my guy, because we're about to we're about to run it up. That's what we're about to do. All white, baby. All white and chrome. So we've done a couple all white trucks. Never done a white 2500 though. So we got the 2020 GMC 2500, all color match. We got the, the color match fender flares, you know, with the side markers, color match upper control arms. We're doing some amp steps, rock lights, wheel lights, front wheel wood brakes, and the wheels, baby. Six months. Been waiting six months. So when, when these are done, when these are done at paint, we'll be uh, what? White inside? White barrel? 
White barrel, are you doing the white face too or keeping it chrome? Uh, keep it chrome. Chrome uh, spike lugs. Spike lugs. Chrome spikes. That means white inside. Yeah, okay. Did you did you have these painted too, the taillights? Tail lights are painted white. It's gonna be crazy. I'm excited for this. We've been waiting six. When did you order those wheels in August? August. That's wild. Look, look at me. So, what what y'all don't what y'all don't understand is while I'm out here filming, and you hear the phone in the background, a lot of times I gotta stop filming and go pick up the phone. Most I've never said that. Most of you guys know me. Thank you for calling Southern Tire. This is Jake. I can help you. <laughs> we were racing to try and pick up the phone. If you ever hear the phone ringing in the background, just know that either one, I know somebody else is about to go get the phone, or two, I'm supposed to be going to get that phone. So from now on, if you hear the phone, just know that in the back of your mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. We got the white badges too. Woo! Monday! Monday! Monday's bread day, baby! I hope y'all are excited. E either next video or video after that is going down. Call me back any time. I don't believe you. I texted it to you. <laughs> I couldn't. That's that's bad though. Let me look that up. I really hope that's not secretly a bad word. We never get them for that bolt pattern. It's a little different. <laughs> Leonard comes and grabs me and says, "Hey, you need to come look at this. Bring your camera." Hey, Alex. I'm kind of scared. Yes, Chewy. You said white. White. Yes. White. My butt cheeks. What? Leonard, I can't film this kind of stuff. Bro, you open the door, you think you're stepping into a Bentley? Fucking look outside, it's a fucking box. I can't, I can't, I can't film this, Leonard. Most of my day up here at the shop is spent trying to figure out when can I film, when can I get away, when can I do this? You know, because like I said earlier in the video, I, I work 10 hours a day up here. I'm not paid to just come film and go home. I work here full time. So all of these videos that you guys see me film, is me pulling away from the showroom to go film little clips here and there, four or five minutes, two or three minutes here, you know, and there are certain times when they when they know I want to film something, so I pull away, get some drone shots, do some of that. Um, normally, I would wait to reveal this truck, um, but same day, we actually have this truck done. This is the 21, eight, no, I keep wanting to say AT4, it's the 21 Sierra. Um, it's now four o'clock, if you guys can see that. It's four o'clock and this truck is on the ground. Uh, customer's not gonna pick it up till tomorrow. We gotta do a fender modification on this and align it and test drive it and it is out the door. But 37 inch amps, 26 by 14, uh, tough T2As or T2Bs, I always get them confused. And uh, nine inch McGoy's lift. So I think, I think truck turned out beautiful. Um, obviously it's not done. We got a couple little small things to touch up here and there, put center caps on it. Then we gotta get some drone shots as usual. Um, but just give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. Normally before the drone shots happen, truck comes to the back, fender modification, alignment, uh, test drive and all that great stuff but you know today's video is a little bit different i'm bringing you guys along behind the process um one thing i will show you guys and I, I say this to a lot of customers that come through the shop if you're up here long enough you will see people from the videos j4 just rolled up a minute ago and i i did not call him i tell people this all the time i didn't call him to come up here he just happened to be up here and you know he lives around the corner so he, you know he comes through the shop a lot if you've watched the channel long enough then you know this truck most most of you probably know this truck more than any other one you know, we got this lift kit, the, the blue lift kit set at about seven and a half, 26 by 14 American Forces, 26, 14 American Forces, 37 inch gladiators, all color match, got the Cognito uppers, that blue McGoy's cross member wheel lights, rock lights, rear traction bars. It's the whole nine yards. Always a fan favorite, you guys know that. But this is what happens if you guys hang out on the shop, at the shop long enough, you know, these, these trucks will start to come through, they just come hang out up here. So when you see them in the videos, it's not planned. I don't call people, they just happen to show up and come hang out for a little bit.
world on your shoulders and still get hit by stones. All eyes on me, but I ain't throwing up the west, cause the north side still my home. Tryna cover up wounds from the past, but the shit run deep, run deep in the bones. Yeah, pick up the phone. I be going through some things, but I never complain. It's too much on my heart and too much on the brain. Ride through peace streets, swerving through lanes, windows blacked out, having real battles with fame. The drone shots really, they really changed the game. You know, I used I used to come up here and I used to film my, my trucks and do the best that I can with the cinematics and the camera I had. Once I really started investing in myself, it really, really changed, you know, taking that leap to get the drone when I was in North Carolina for my birthday and then upgrading cameras. It just, it, it really changed everything. And, you know, so each day when we build trucks, you go through the process trying to film the start, the middle, the, the wheels and tires, you film the different process and then you get to where you do the drone shots and it really comes together at the end of the video. It's, it's something really cool to watch happen that way. Just to finish it up today, obviously you guys know we do the drone shots and then we do a walk around 2021 GMC. Um, I think it's a, a SLT or whichever package it is. It's a beautiful truck regardless. Uh, 26 by 14 Tufts, the Chrome. We got some 37 inch amp tires going on there. And then uh, my favorite part of the truck, without a doubt, is definitely the brush guard on the front. Some people love it, some people don't. I'm a huge fan of the brush guard, just to be 100% honest with you. I love the C-shaped headlights of the new GMCs. The new GMCs are beautiful. The only thing about the GMCs that I don't like is the, uh, the fender modification that needs to be done. The Silverados do not require as much of a fender modification. The GMCs require a lot more because of this extra plastic trim right around here. Now, I was on the phone with the customer earlier in the day, and I wanted to make sure to, to point this out. So normally, your GMC has that mud flap that comes all the way down here. That's something that has to come off. Um, we offer some little plugs to go in here. Obviously, it's a little bit dirty because it's been under there, and that's something that we'll touch up before it leaves. There's plugs that we can go in, and we actually pull this uh, this liner back, you know, do a little bit of trimming, and we actually touch it up with a little bit of rubber. Front up here is the same. We've got our, our trimming that needs to be done. You know, we, if it's black paint or any kind of paint, we touch it up, and then we put some, uh, some rubber right there along the end, and then bam, like it came from the factory. So just, just to get, give you guys a little bit of an idea of what the fender modification somewhat is, depends on the vehicle, depends on the offset of the wheel. There's a lot of different things that go into play there. So not every fender modification is the same. It is, it, it's more of an art form at this point than anything. But I love how this GMC turned out. Mr. Alex, that's his name. He's got a great name. Shout out to you for coming through. I really enjoyed building the truck and getting some time to, to talk to you. Um, if you need anything, obviously hit me up. You know, we've been building some cool stuff out here. Another one in and out. Hey, I heard you got a new lift kit though. What lift? I heard you got a new lift what kit. Lift? I don't know what you My boy Chauncey popping out on the new lift kit. See, this is what happens. I had a whole plan. I try and film something, and look, the last clip was y'all. It was daytime. Now it's now it's dark. Like what the hell? This this is what happens. A lot of y'all don't understand how it works up here at the shop. I have a plan, I wanna film something, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and then it gets busy, I gotta answer phones. I love my customers to death, but we get tied up, you know, and it, it just, all, my, my plan goes to shit is what happens, but we finally ended up doing the nine inch lift on Chauncey's truck. He said it rides amazing. We did the up control arms too. Probably gonna do some traction bars soon, some new lights. Chauncey's got a lot of stuff on the way. Chauncey's that dude. Chauncey's been freaking grinding on social media. So y'all stop playing. Y'all go show some love to Chauncey. Cause I f with him. And if I f with him, I'm trying not to cuss, even though I still cuss all in the videos. Y'all need to go show some love. At this plane on Instagram. He's the this is the real that why bow tie now is what this is. That's essentially what's happening now. He's look, look, look. Shitting. Just abs come on now. Look, he's the real that white bow tie now. That's crazy. I'm salty. Look, I'm I'm going home. I'm going home after that. I'm going home. I'm done. I quit. I'm done. The official return, Chef Bowtie. We didn't go to Bucky's the other day for nothing. I'm super freaking excited because uh, we're frying up some catfish tonight. And I'm I'm excited. We did tilapia the other, the other night. We did what, just some basic lemon pepper stuff. Um, tonight we got a couple different variations. We're gonna do lemon pepper. So egg wash, cornmeal, lemon pepper, salt and pepper. And then we're also gonna do, instead of egg wash, we're gonna do egg wash and Frank's Red Hot together 
with the lemon pepper and I think she's throwing in some breadcrumbs on one of them. So I'm really freaking excited. Chef Bowtie's in the mix today. You know, some, some days when we, when we get done at a long day at work, we wanna come home, mess around a little bit. I got Thomas over here. Shout out to Thomas, that.h2. He's gonna be shy on camera here for a minute. But look, 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 look what we got going on here. I mean, my, my fire, my grill's going pretty good. We're letting our oil heat up here in just a minute. We're gonna be ready to fry some, uh, fry some catfish, baby. We, we got a couple of batches done. We got the, the normal, he's got the normal lemon pepper and I got the Frank's Red Hot and lemon pepper. We definitely got some different colors here. His is like a lighter color. Like a chicken nugget flavor. It looks, or, yeah, color. it looks really good though. The Frank's Red Hot is what I'm really excited about. So I'm just gonna taste one. Where's mine? Really cool. In the fryer. Watch those be the best ones. No, mine. These are, creation. these are like absolutely, okay, absolute mine. gas. This is crazy. Here, I could use more Franks, but it's definitely got that. Try that, try one, come on. Try one of those or these? Yeah. I'll try one of these. Franks Red Hot, definitely, definitely the move. I gotta say one thing. Chef Bowtie did not disappoint. Chef, hey, he's living up to the name. Chef, but Lou, Lou, if you're watching this, Lou, I'm gonna bring you some, I'm gonna bring you some. Lou, Lou's got the big silver truck with the bumpers on the front, Boss Man 2020. Yeah. Lou calls them. I know exactly. Lou calls them bow tie nuggets. Is that the one with the Archon Lincolns on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lou, Lou came by the shop a couple days ago when I cooked that batch of tilapia last time. And he said, man, I came by for some bow tie nuggets. Lou, if you see this video, we need to get together and cook something, man. Because me and Lou used to always get lemon pepper wings, lemon pepper ma wings, him and, uh, him and his brother from Chicken Run around the corner. So we, we're going to have to get together and, and make some magic, Lou. But, uh, I'm, I'm gonna dedicate this last batch of the Frank's Red Hot to, to Lou because I know how much he would love to be here and uh, share in this beautifulness that I'm uh, putting together right now. I think that's the last one in his bag. Might be. But hey, I appreciate you guys. Um, this is uh, pretty much a day in the life of, of that wide bow tie. You know, we wake up at five o'clock. We uh, take our hour and a half ride to work. We hang out at work, we film some cool trucks, and every now and then we come home, we you know, we, we fry a little fish, we hang out with Thomas, hang out with the boy, the brother, and uh, you know, we just we have a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you guys want to see more uh, more of Chef Bowtie, let me know in the comments below. If not, I love you guys. Let's get this bread. I'm just saying, I'm really proud. I tried the Frank's Red Hot today. All this was is a little egg wash with Frank's Red Hot and lemon pepper and a little bit of extra pepper. That's so fire. I know why these people do it on YouTube all the time. This is so fire. And it's the easiest thing to do. Y'all think a Joe Blow like me, a little cheese ball like me could do something like this? I'm doing it on a $30 grill with a $10 pan from Walmart or uh, Publix and some $5 tongs. Anything's possible, chase your dreams. Fire.